Sverige er med. Here's all our crabs and shrimp that we're gonna cook later. So before we cook them, we're gonna wash them and brush them well. Take all the dirt out of his crabs and shrimp. But I have to be careful or else they're gonna bite me. Because as you can see, some of them are moving and still alive. Next is the shrimp and make sure that we clean it well and cut off the hair. all our crabs and shrimp that it's already clean and let's kind of cut it off into half using the big knife and here it is so guys make sure I'm gonna show you this part here is a dirt where all the food are going inside and they're all dirt and all you have to do is take it out and throw it away So here's our shrimp. I'm gonna take off the shell from the head all the way down except the tail. So we're gonna leave the tail there. Now I'm gonna show you again. Don't cut the head off, just the shell from the head all the way down because the head part was really good then the taste is really delicious and make sure you always leave the tail on on the shrimp Now we're gonna chop the garlics. Make sure that we have a lot of garlics and I use the whole garlics for this recipe. So I prepared two tomatoes that I'm gonna use for our recipe.
and hers are shrimps and crabs and hers all the ingredients that we're gonna prepare for that job garlics tomatoes and beside tomatoes we also prepared the tomato ketchup as well and so this is two egg whites that I prepared for all this recipe and here it is now we're gonna start cooking make sure that we're gonna prepare the big pan heat it up and I'm gonna pour in a lot of oil as I estimate it was like 60 ml of oil and when the oil is already hot put in the garlic When the garlic turn a little bit brown, and next you can put in the tomato. You can see everything in the pan turns red, so that means it's getting ready for you to put all the shrimps and crabs in. So all we have to do is stir and mix well so all the ingredients will absorb to our shrimp and the crabs. Cover the lid and let it simmer for at least 3 minutes. And here it is. As you can see, the texture and the mixture already turns into something wonderful and delicious and now we're gonna put a little bit of salt that's all and then next is one teaspoon of sugar and next is our tomato ketchup if the tomato ketchup is not enough, and then we can add more. And then let it simmer for at least 2 minutes. Next, but not the last, is the egg white. And then let it boil for a while and turn it into something different. The purpose of mixing the egg white in is to make our recipe sticky and good texture and also the taste is really good. Now as you can see, the whole thing turns into something wonderful. Now look, it's really look delicious. Now we have to serve this hot. Look how wonderful it is. So yummy. I cannot wait to eat our dinner. So yummy.